Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and in today's video, I'm gonna come back to you guys with my updated skincare routine. Okay, if you have not seen my previous video, I will link that video down below so that you guys can go watch that video after this video. But it's, it, as of right now, we're gonna focus on this one. Okay, this one is my very minimal skincare routine. This one is, that first video was focused more so on acne because I was dealing with mask me from you know from COVID is having to wear a mask every day so myself like a lot of other people the mask was killing my skin or whatever I feel like I'm still kind of getting some backlash from having that around my face all the time even though I have not worn one since all of the restrictions and stuff was lifted but I still deal with but get like every now and then I'll get a pimple in in down here and I never did before in those areas especially my chin I'm definitely still fighting my chin but at the same time I don't want to have to do all of the stuff that I was doing so with that being said I'm going to show you guys what my minimal skincare routine is and the reason why this skincare routine has switched the way that it did is because I started to feel like were well, two things one I started to feel like my skin was very flat and you say flat Nadia what are you talking about like when I look at my skin it was well I say dull I will look at my skin and I felt like my skin was so dull like there was no life to it like no moisture to it when I would look at it it just looked flat like there was nothing going on like I just put my skin on in the morning and decided not to not do anything with it almost like a face with no makeup but I'm not a makeup a daily makeup wearer so that wasn't the thing but that's how it made me feel like I've been wearing makeup every day and decided to just stop wearing makeup but that is not the case and so because I haven't always felt that way but I started to notice that my skin was like I said it just was very dull and then also I over the last I would say month or so my skin got very very dry like in mainly on this side of my face it was very dry and then over here I had like some raised bumps like they weren't pimples they were like you know how you get stung by like a mosquito or whatever how it like looks like welts but they're red but you know how your skin just kind of raises up it was like that but they were small of course like it was like a patch of them right here um but of course they were like i said very small but and they weren't red they were the color of my skin but i could when i would lean towards the mirror i could look in the mirror and see them it was driving me crazy so i'm dealing with dry skin and then on this side of my cheek i'm dealing with that it was like what the heck is going on with my skin so one day out of the blue this is the first thing that i did out of the blue i decided okay nadia Something's got to change. For one, this dry skin has to have something to do with you washing your face with hot water. I know, I know, I know guys, I should not have been doing that, but I like to take a hot shower like everybody else and I never would change the temperature on the water when I would wash my face. I would use a towel, I would put my face under there and let it run on my face. It wouldn't be as hot as on my body, don't get me wrong, it's not that hot, but it's still like warm water and that was the first thing i was like my skin is dry so i have to take the heat out of my skin so i started washing my face in cold water literally the very next day after i washed my face with cold water i noticed those bumps were gone just disappeared i didn't do any kind of skincare regimen on my face i didn't do anything because to be honest i was scared to do anything because i'm like what are these little like they, this is like my skin was irritated and i wasn't doing anything to it but when I washed my face with cold water, like I said, the very next day, <laughs> they were gone. Not only were they gone, my skin looked so much smoother. So I was like, am I crazy? <laughs> like, is my skin changing like that? Or am I crazy? So same thing, I did the same thing that night, looked at my skin the next day again. I'm like, okay, something is up. Like, am I this late to the party on watch, washing my face with, I kind of drifted off there if you guys noticed, <laughs> but 
I was like, if I this late to the party of washing my face with cold water, like I, I saw this uh, reel on Instagram with this lady sticking her face in a bowl with ice water and I didn't wa didn't look at the words on the video, didn't watch the video actually and I was like, why is she sticking her face in cold, cold um, ice water in a bowl? Now I should I want to go back and find that video just to see what she was doing because I know it had something to do with her skin. So when now after doing that, after like I said, getting the the warm water off my skin and doing washing my face with cold water, keep in mind I said I did that because my skin was dry and I felt like you know heat dry. So I was like, well let me go the opposite opposite direction and wash my face with cold water and see what it does. So when I saw that video, I'm like, I still to this day I have not went to Google it or look it up to see what the cold water does. But I noticed a difference in my skin when I used it. So every night I have been washing my face with cold water. That is the first thing that I did. So of course the skincare stuff that I use to cleanse my face, I still use the same thing. I still using the La Roche Posay. Um, this is the For Normal to Dry Skin Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I love this. It is very gentle, but I did notice, I do notice like it pretty much tells you, okay, you've had it on too long because it starts to tingle on your skin. But other than that, it is very gentle or whatever. And it's, um, it comes out like a, like a soft cream, like a thin cream. Um, and it kind of stays that way, sorry. And it kind of stays that way when you're rubbing it in or whatever. So the next thing that I use, and I do not use this every single day. This is the Effaclair um, Clarifying Solution, 0.5% salicylic acid, acne medication. I only use this maybe a couple of times out of the week when I feel like I need to get a deeper cleanse out of my skin because I notice when I use that, I get a pimple. It never fails because it's opening my pores. So it's like, okay, do I use this? wash my face with cold water right after so what if i don't use it every night like i probably probably could i'm sure that it would help with texture and all of that stuff but i don't have time to be fighting skin because of that i don't have to have it every day my skin one thing about my skin it does so much better when i don't touch it as much when i only wash with water especially cold water my skin can be perfect for months but the second I put that toner on my skin, pores open, out comes a pimple. So I stay away from it. Even with the cleanser, I don't have to use this every day. Now, if I want my skin to feel the squeaky clean feeling that everybody wants, I use it every day because of that. But if I'm like, I don't feel like dealing with my face breaking out, I want my face to stay normal, no bumps, no acne, no none of that. I would just get a really good cleanse out of my face with water, and be done with it. I mean, it's just the truth because the bumps, I'm over. <laughs> so my issue, like I said, was my skin looking dull and being dry. So I found the perfect combination for my skin to give my skin the life that I want. I honestly feel like I could do a little bit better. Like I could like make it even a little bit more. But as of right now, I'm loving the combination that I have. Or whatever right now my skin looks it looks normal it's okay but I mean it is 7 10 p.m. and I have been up since 5 30 this morning and I looked for the most part like when I went to lunch I went to a very late lunch today but when I came back from lunch around three something my skin still had the glow you can kind of see it here now but it had a very strong glow you could see still see the moisture in my skin. I was ecstatic because I'm like, I finally found the perfect combination that will hold onto my skin. Normally, I would see it like a couple hours, maybe a few, maybe a few hours or something like that. But this took me through the entire day completely. So enough about that, Ram enough rambling. So the first thing that I use is hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. And it looks like this. Everybody knows about The Ordinary by now. Or whatever and so there uh, I have a couple of their products actually so I put this on first I put the hyaluronic acid on first because I want it to get as close to my skin as possible for the hydration that I um, that I want right after I put that on I go in with my La Roche Posay and this is the double repair face moisturizer 
and it has SPF 30 in it. So I'll go in after that, after I've patted that into my skin, I'll go in with this and I'll pat this into my skin. This is a cream or whatever. This was not doing it alone. In the last video, I showed you guys that I was using this as my moisturizer. It was okay. My skin, it stopped working alone. And it, like I said, I just looked dull. I'll say dull. I keep saying flat, but I'll say dull. Like I feel like I looked like a potato because it just was not doing, it was not giving me the life that I wanted. Okay, so I do the ordinary hyaluronic acid first and then I do the La Roche-Posay moisturizer. After I pat that in, make sure that's in my skin, I go on top of that. Yes, I know you guys are probably saying, Nadia, that is too much. But this combination gave me the exact glow that I wanted. It has not clogged my pores. I have not broke out because of it. It has not done anything but give me the moisture. And when I tell you half of the day is gone and I do this on my skin, even right now, I can, you may not be able to see it, but I can definitely still feel the moisture in my skin. By now, my skin will be bone dry just using that La Roche-Posay. So the next thing I have is this skin, um, Sky Organics Organic Rose Hip Seed Oil. And it's in a bottle like that. I think I just, I think I got this from Target, either Target or Walmart. Now, the Ordinary, I get that from Ulta. The Ordinary is very reasonable. I want to say for that bottle is like eight or nine dollars or something like that. So the next thing, oh sorry, <laughs> but yeah, so rose hip, I think I got this from Target. I don't remember, but you guys can find rose hip seed oil. So the next thing I do, I put this on at night to help with my dark circles. Now y'all might say, Nadia, your dark circles still look dark. They're not as dark as they have always been. The reason why they have gotten a little bit back to darkness is because I have been very, very lazy on putting this on because, and it is the caffeine solution from the ordinary. Now, when I was using this for two weeks, I noticed a very big change, not a very big change. It was a big change because I actually noticed it and it took me only like a couple of weeks to notice it. But I noticed that it hits right here first on my eyes. And I, I don't know if it's just going to keep hitting there or if it's going to eventually work. Or, I don't know. But I have not literally have not used that in like two weeks because I put it on before bed. And I've just been forgetting, and that's the only reason. But when I was using it every single day, I noticed the change in my under eye circles. Even my friend, she was like, Nadia, have you been putting something on your dark circles? And I was like, yeah, you can tell. She was like, yes, and whatever it is, I want to go get it. Because it started to make a noticeable difference. But you stuff like that, you have to keep using. And of course, it's a slow process, but it sucks because if you stop using it, then I don't know if it's a mental thing or what, but you'll be like, it's not, is it coming back? Oh, I need to get back to use it but I feel like it's kind of sitting where it was or maybe come back a little bit because like I said I hadn't used it in some weeks now because I was so focused on my skin and then I would forget to use it at night but all of these products have been working really great for me so the last thing that I do just to be extra because I am extra with a lot of things is with me using the cold water on my face I showed you guys this rose quartz roller in a few videos ago this is always cold so when i do the cold water treatments on my face i also do this daily and just rub the cold um the rose quartz on my skin because it's always like right now it's freezing cold it's always i mean it's rose quartz so it's always cold and i rub this on my skin i really feel like the coldness from the water the coldness from this and the combination that i've been using this combination is no joke keeping that hot water off my skin and using these moisturizers and oils on my skin is no joke. I, I, sh I wish I could have recorded this video in the morning time so you guys could see the glow fresh on my skin. Maybe I'll do like a little reel or something. So if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure that you click down below in the description box and follow me on my socials because if I do a reel or something like that on these, which I will so that you guys can see you guys will be following me already and won't miss that video. So the La Rose Quartz Roller also comes with this part for under your eyes also and it vibrates. I don't know what the vibration does but it vibrates. I don't really use the vibration that much. I'll just sit and roll this over my skin. Okay guys, like that can say you guys probably think 90 that is not minimal. It really is minimal. Only one cleanser, a toner, and I have three oils and a moisturizer. The three of the oils go on 
boom, 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 one after the other. And the the um, this oil, I put it on at night. At nighttime, I do not put anything on my skin. I like to let my skin breathe. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but it's worked for me over all these years. I don't like product on my skin at night. I don't know if that, I don't know. I just put that under my eyes and that works for me. That's all I need. That's the time that my friend, my friend, <laughs> that's the time that my skin and my whole body is free. I was saying free and y'all get it. Everything is free. I don't like anything extra on me when like at night when I go to bed, not unless I have to. And my skin being moisturized going to bed, I don't, I just don't like it. So I leave it alone, okay? But this is minimal, especially when you guys click down there and watch my acne video. So if you have acne problems, that video will definitely help you to get rid of the acne on your skin. So guys, that is the end of this video. As always, thank y'all for watching. Before you leave today, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Check out my channel if you're new here because y'all know I got a whole bunch of stuff. And I feel like I have something on my channel for everybody. If you can't find nothing on my channel, I don't know who channel you're gonna find it on. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching another video. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.